So, the Asus X670E... <coughs> so, sorry, take two. So, the Asus X670E... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, I can't concentrate. England just lost to France and this is like the happiest I've been in years. But putting that aside, the Asus X670e Pro Wi-Fi, apart from having a very obnoxious name, is an interesting X670e motherboard. Because at just $350, well, it's definitely one of the cheaper X670e motherboards you can buy. And it occupies that strange $300 area where no other X670 motherboards dare to venture. Apart from one, and that being Asus's own tough X670e motherboard, which costs $20 less. So what exactly do you get for $20 more here, apart from the obvious, that being that this might be the cheapest way to get an X670e motherboard that has a white theme. So if you're going for that all white build, then this is going to be a great option. If you don't want to go for something more budget, such as the B650 Asus Prime instead. But starting with CPU power, here you get 14 plus 2 phases rated at 70 amps. So pretty much identical to what the Asus Tough had. And it even has the same 2 full 8 pins for CPU power. So it should be enough for everyone, even if you're running a 7950X. So, what about PC expansion? Does this motherboard do anything special there? Well, it has the same 16x PC Gen 5 slot, which is awesome to see because, like the tough, these motherboards are your best bet to get into that PC Gen 5 action for your graphics card at the cheapest price possible. Granted, that doesn't mean much, seeing how PC Gen 5 graphics cards are still but a twinkle in the eye of the engineer, but still feature-proof I guess. Apart from that you also have another full-length physical 16x slot but actually 4x slot at the bottom of the board and even a PC 4x slot in the middle, something you don't see too often nowadays so that's cool. But that is also identical to the TUF, in fact the storage options are identical as well with 4 M.2 slots in total, one lightning fast PC Gen 5, two Gen 4 and a single Gen 3 one. And you even get the same four SATA connectors as that motherboard, which I still think is pretty unacceptable for a $350 motherboard. At that price point, you should be getting a standard 6, which seeing how it's something that even most B650 budget motherboards do right, there's really no excuse here. Things get really interesting when you get to the rear I.O. Because once again, it looks fantastic. Granted, you only have seven USB Type-A ports, but none of them are USB Gen 2. All of them are Gen 3 or faster. And what makes it even more insane is the free, free USB Type-C on this motherboard, with two of them being 10 gigabit and one being 20 gigabit. Now that is truly insane, and something you don't even get in several more expensive X670e motherboards, so that's insane to see on a $350 board. Add to that 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, both integrated HDMI and DisplayPort, and ASUS once again trying to give me an aneurysm by once again, for some reason, prioritizing an awkwardly placed BIOS flashback switch instead of a sixth audio jack or optical splitter like most normal motherboard manufacturers. I mean, can someone please just explain to me the logic of awkwardly placing that switch there when, you know, normally people would place more audio options there instead? And apart from that additional USB Type-C at the back, it's pretty much the same motherboard. Now, granted, for people who use a lot of high-speed USB Type-C devices and also want a full-on wide build, then the 20 extra dollars might be worth it. For everyone else, however, this motherboard has very little purpose. But if you still want to buy regardless, then make sure to use Amazon links down in the video description below. And hey, while we're still here, maybe check out the Patreon if you want to support the kind of textualism we do here. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Bardish Welker, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.